All right, eighth grade. Today we're talking perimeter review, so this should be familiar. It goes back a little bit of a ways, but it's always good to recheck this sort of information because it does keep coming up um, with the different word problems. People expect you to know perimeter and uh, area. So we're going to do a quick review of those. Name, date, title, and here we go. Perimeter is the distance around an object or figure. So if I'm asking you about the perimeter, perimeter of a yard, it just means how long or what's the distance to measure around the outside of the yard. Um, so people often talk about that with fences. It is calculated by adding the side lengths. So you would add all the sides of the yard to find the perimeter of the yard or how much fence you needed. But the last part is you can also repeat or multiply repeated side lengths. So if you know um, that multiple sides have the same distance, you can just multiply by however many sides measure that distance uh, to find out the measurement of those sides altogether. And an example of that is uh, we know that all parallelograms have two sets of opposite equal sides so like uh, oftentimes during perimeter calculations of parallelograms you just multiply the length of one of those sides times two because you know that the opposite sides are equal or squares and rhombuses or rhombi have all four sides equal so um, you'd be multiplying you'd be multiplying four times the measure of one of those sides uh, and then regular shapes have if it's called like a regular pentagon, it means it has five, five sides that are all the same length. And you can just multiply by five rather than adding five times. The last note we have is that the circumference or perimeter of a circle. So circumference, remember, measures the distance around a circle. So that's kind of like the perimeter. It is circumference equals pi times the diameter. Diameter is the length from one side to the other through the middle, through the center of a circle. Or it's equal to two pi r. That's how people remember it. But it's just... 2 times r, 2 times the radius equals the diameter, but either way we need to multiply uh, times pi, which we can uh, estimate as 3.14. So let's see some examples and see what are you going to be expected to know. This first one uses some hash marks that we should also be familiar with uh, to show you that some of these sides are the same length. Um, so the sides that have one hash mark we see are 24 inches, so we can fill this in right away and say that's 24 inches. And the ones that have two hash marks we see are 19 inches. So we can fill that in as well. And if I'm just calculating the perimeter, I can add these four numbers. Oh, that's five numbers. Whoops. 28, 24, 24, 19, 19. Or we could have also said, all right, let's multiply those sides that are doubled. Multiply those times two. And what will that give us? Well, 24 times two would be 48. So we know that the one hash mark sides are a total of 48. The two hash marks are 19 times 2. That would be 38. And then we know we have that other side, which is 28. So I could just add those three numbers. That makes it a little bit easier uh, to do the addition. If you add 8 three times, you get 24. 3 plus 2 is 5. Plus 4 is 9. Plus 2 is 11. So this would be 114 inches. And again, that's perimeter just adding the side lengths and making sure not to forget ones that aren't listed. We just need to use some clues to figure those out. So hopefully you drew that picture and also uh, included the notes. Let's look at the second one. This one's a little bit uh, more difficult. We need to use some reasoning to figure out these lengths. Uh, and we also need to deal with a circular shape. So well, what do we have? We, we can see that the longer distance from the top to the bottom is 14 feet. 12 feet just goes up to the beginning of the circular part. So what do we know we have? Well, we have 12 feet over there. We have this 12 foot section on the left that also goes up to the circular part. We have four feet. Um, we have four feet at the bottom. So if we're going around just the rectangular portions, we have 12 times 2 or 12 plus 12 plus 4. And that's going to be a total of 28 feet. 28 feet, but we need to add this uh, circular section. Well, how are we going to figure out the circular section? Well, we know that the circular section is one half of a circle. We want half of the circumference because it's not a full circle. But we need to know the diameter or the radius. So there's two ways to do this. You could figure out we'll use circumference equals 2 pi r, so we need to multiply 2 times pi times whatever this radius is from the center of the circle to the top. And if we know that 12 feet goes to here, 14 goes to the top, what's the difference? This must be 2 feet. Or we could also just think about the fact that 
oh, this looks like a diameter. It goes through the center of the circle from one side to the other, and that must be the same as down here, so it's four feet. Either way, two times r times pi, two times r would be four times pi, or just pi times the diameter, four times pi. So it's one half four times pi. One half times four times pi. One half of four is two, so two pi. So it's 28 plus two pi, 28 feet plus two pi feet. That's the total distance. If we wanted to estimate it, we could say pi is equal to three and 14 hundredths as an estimate. If we multiply that by two, we get six and 28 hundredths feet. If we add this all together, Thirty-four and twenty-eight hundredths feet. That's an estimate. If I ask you to estimate it, or you could just leave it as twenty-eight feet plus two pi feet. We know we're going to add some extra, but I would probably ask you to estimate that. Let's do one more together, and this one involves us uh, trying to figure out some lengths on our own. Some of these lengths are filled in, but not all of them. So what we need to do here is we need to um, talk about parts that add together to to equal a certain length. So let's let's focus. What are we missing? We're missing a number right here. So we can't add the perimeter because we're missing these two numbers. Let's try and figure out this one first. So if we know that to go from the top line to the bottom, and these are perpendicular, to go from perpendicular to the sideline, they're parallel to each other. To go from the top to the bottom is 17 meters. Well, we know that we've already gone seven in this section, and we've already gone five in that section. Well, how many more meters do we need to go? 17 minus 7 is, minus this 7 is 10, minus 5, that has 5 more meters to go. So we know that this length right here is just 5 meters. And now what about this section? Well, we know that, this one's a little trickier. So we know that the total distance is going to be 15 meters from end to end. And how much are we missing? How much are we missing right here? Well, we've already gone 9, but then came back to. So it's kind of like 15, 15 meters total, but we've gone 9, but then we came back to. So we've kind of already taken care of the dotted line, which showed this is kind of 7. So if it's 15 meters total, this must be 8 meters. For perimeter, we're just going to add all those outside lengths. So we know we have 17, we have 9, we have 5, we have 2, we have 8, we have 5, we have 7, and we have 15. We need to add all of these. And what I'm going to suggest is that you find compatible numbers. So I'll find some numbers that go together really nicely. For example, 5 and 5, we'll cross those out and just call that 10. We need to add 10. I think 8 and 2 is another set of 10. Um, we can add 15 to that. That would be fine. Now what do we have left? We have 7, 9, and 17. We can just add those together. 7 and 17 would be 24. And 9 more would be 33. So that's the last thing we need to add is 33. And this will make it a lot easier. What's the perimeter of the shape? Well, in the 1's place, we're adding a 3 and a 5. We get 8. And in the tens place, we have three, and three more would be six. So this is 68 meters. And again, it's just meters. It's one dimension. We're just measuring the distance around. So hopefully you saw from that example how we can kind of try and figure out missing lengths. But then again, perimeter is just going to be met about adding them all up together. So as always, I'm going to leave you with some examples to do on your own. This first one is a parallelogram. Pay attention to the half marks. We have 15 inches on top, four and a half inches on the sides. And then I have a circle. I want you to find that perimeter or the circumference if uh, the radius is 7 meters. Best of luck. I'll catch you later.